following segment is sponsored by Gilman and Bedigian. 745 in Project Baltimore recently reported a 15-year-old convicted rapist attending a public school in Baltimore. The claims, well, he raped two toddlers, and in order to keep the 15-year-old away from any minor his age or younger without direct supervision. Joining us this morning to define the state's laws and possible action by parents unaware a rapist was in class with their children, founding partner at Gilman and Badigi in law, Charles Gilman. And Charles, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Tom. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well this morning. And Charles, I know, I know that this is, a, we, you hear this report and you're going, wait a minute, how is that possible? How can he be allowed back in? But Maryland law says that we, he still needs to get his education. Correct. Maryland law says he needs to get his education, but they also provide alternative means for the education. I think part of the issue, quite frankly, Tom, is the law, laws are generally written to react to a situation. Yeah. The law we have here, it looks like the issue with the law is is juveniles aren't required to report the same way adult sex offenders are. And it looks like there's just an error or a crisscross and the law needs to be amended or changed slightly so that juveniles must report to the edu Board of Education so that the Board of Education will find out that this particular juvenile cannot be mainstreamed or put into a school system. They need an alternative education. What about any potential school liability then before that gets changed over? Is Baltimore City Public Schools or anybody, are they now responsible for if something happens and how do you prove that? I think the, 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 the most important question or part of your question is what are they responsible for now? I think prior to realizing that there was an issue with the law, they may have had an out, if you will. But now that they know, they know, because it's happened at least twice that we know of, they are responsible. This is foreseeable. Knowing that juveniles aren't required to report to the Board of Education that they're sex offenders, it's a foreseeable event, and therefore they're liable under the four prongs of the law. Charles, he, he knows he went to court and he was convicted of raping a two-year-old. We know that. And in that line, Project of Baltimore showed that he is not allowed to be with anybody his age 15 and under unsupervised. Public schools, then, is that considered all the time being supervised among his peers? I, look, I think he's going to have to go to a home school or an alternative schooling system because absolutely, it's it, it, if there's 15-year-olds in high school, he's going to be around them, and that's not possible based on the law. Charles Gilman with Gilman and Bedigian, thank you so much for your expertise. Thank you, Tom. It was good to see you. Good to see you, too.